so we just talked about uh, databases correct um, in if we kind of speaking very loose database is nothing but a collection of data it's been there from uh, very early st stages of humankind uh, even including caves after that the paper technology increased um, writing on paper and then later on in 1960s whereas as IBM uh, started making computers and machines and other companies as well um, it the same data was maintained on computer based systems correct so as technology improved the first versions of database management system were pretty much a file based systems okay so meaning let's say if you see any small up small company or you are if you are maintaining your own personal uh, uh, accounts on uh, files let's say if small company or a um, company who's still using old type of books for accounts payable accounts receivable and a general ledger if they're maintaining kind of three different uh, physical books and um, if they are writing on all that the first versions of database management systems were mimicking the same style they were also maintaining an electronic file for accounts payable and another electronic file for uh, accounts receivable and general ledger this i'm just giving in, in um, theoretically okay uh, and so uh, during those time, EF, Mr. EF card looked at these database management systems with the file system and found out some issue, some issues. Okay, issue number one, um, data was redundant. Meaning, let's say if there is a customer data. Okay, so the customer uh, customer data was maintained in accounts payable file, accounts receivable, and general ledger. Suppose if there, the customer changes address. He had to change in all the other files. If you are not changing in all other files, it lead to another problem called data inconsistency, meaning data re data represents in one particular file as one truth and another particular file as another truth. So that the data redundancy, data inconsistency was were few problems. Similarly, these file-based systems, when um, programs were using this data, they had to use the same kind of a structure of the data, whatever, however the columns, however the data columns were arranged in the data file, they had to use the same structure to read and write the data. If you have any change in these columns, you, are, you have to open up your programming code and change the structures as well. So there was no standardization for those, uh, those elements. During the same time when EF Card was writing his relational theory, or kind of same time period, IBM, he was IBM scientist by the way, and IBM also released a product called IMSDB, okay? Uh, this was also again another uh, file system type of product. And they were, sell, they were trying to sell that product and he said, you know, there are lots of problems in this file system based uh, applications, it need to be modified with new rules he gave a 12 plus one a zero rule also okay a zero so total together 13 rules he gave 13 rules which were kind of covering up or correcting all the file uh, problems in the file systems and if anybody develops a database management system which will follow these two rules this will be called as a relational database management system okay so um, IBM as they just released their IMS DB product I, I, uh, they did not um, create the DB2 which was the relational database management system immediately but whereas um, Mr. Larry Ellison, who's the, who's the CEO of the Oracle Corporation, saw the benefits of it, and Larry developed the first versions of Oracle. Initially, it was not called Oracle until later on. Um, the next releases were called as Oracle. Now it's Oracle 11G is the current version. And Oracle followed RDBMS principles. And from 8i or 9i, it also added object-oriented relational database management system 
principles as well. So um, currently Oracle is called as object related uh, database management system. So it's, it follows um, more than the relational database management system principles. So if you want to understand what are the relational database management system principles, um, we have to uh, take into another class where we'll be explaining all these details. Thank you.